Welcome to the final video of the SP Tutorial playlist. I hope that these videos have been helpful, whether you are trying Arc Pro for the first time, transitioning from Arc Desktop, or just looking to see a geologic mapping workflow. In this final video, I will show you how to package and export your entire Arc Pro project along with all supplementary files. But before I do that, I just wanted to show you my final map product for this project. I mentioned in the previous video that I like to do a lot of my final figure editing in Adobe Illustrator. Layout view in Arc Pro is good, but I prefer the freedom and interface of Illustrator. On this map sheet, I have included my description of map units, correlation of map units, two additional context figures, as well as a simple geologic cross-section. Typically, a published map would include a more detailed explanation of map symbols as opposed to just this simple legend. Also, there is usually a map text section that describes the methodology for the mapping, for example, the digitization and publication scales, the base map and the data sets used for mapping, as well as a geologic summary or history of the area. I threw this together pretty quickly just for demonstration, but if you want to see and download professional published geologic maps, I recommend going to the National Geologic Map Database. This website has everything you need to know about geologic maps. You should spend some time exploring it. Now let's get back to Arc Pro. In an earlier video, I showed you how to export layer files and layer packages. But what if we wanted to export the entire project along with all auxiliary files? The first thing we will do is create a new blank folder on the desktop. I will rename this folder sptutorial underscore final. In this folder, create a new subfolder called 01 underscore GIS files. Open another file explorer window and navigate to ArcGIS then Projects, then find the SP Tutorial Project folder. Open it up and highlight everything in the SP Tutorial Project folder, then copy and paste it into the GIS subfolder. Here you can see that this includes the APRX file, which launches the project, as well as the GeoDatabase, which stores all of our feature classes and base maps. Everything is here. If you had exported individual layer files, I like to make a layer files subfolder and include them here. This step is not critical, however, since we do have everything saved to the geo database. Also, I like to make a subfolder for the style file that we used for the mapping project. If the style file happens to go missing, the resulting map might have broken or missing symbology, so it's best to include it here. Now I am making another subfolder called Original Data. I could have also just named this DEM for Digital Elevation Model to be more specific. Remember, it was this DEM GeoTIFF that started our whole journey. That's all for the GIS Files subfolder. Let's make another subfolder in SP Final called 02 Map PDF. Open the SP Tutorial Data folder where we had exported many of our ARC files. Click and drag the final Map PDF into the Map PDF subfolder. Lastly, I recommend creating subfolders as follows. Number three, Domu or Description of Map Units. Number four, Komu correlation of map units. Number five, EOMS, or explanation of map symbols. Number six, map text. This could be the text that goes on the map itself or an accompanying geologic report. Number seven, figures. Here I would put additional figures, like the location context figure that we made and the oblique view. And I'll also include my geologic cross-section here. Creating a final project folder with subfolders for the ARC files, as well as the other accompanying map elements, is a good way to keep everything organized. If you set up your final folder this way, you'll be able to send it to anyone and they'll be able to find all the necessary information quite easily. Next, close out the file explorer. 
The last step is to compress and zip the final folder and then you are ready to send it off. My final project zip folder has a file size of about 400 megabytes. This is too big to email, but can easily be shared using Google Drive, Dropbox, or another cloud service. You can also manually transfer the project folder to a new computer using a USB flash drive or portable disk. That concludes everything that I have for you in this tutorial series. Be sure to like and share these videos if you know others who may find them useful. Be sure to subscribe to the Open Topography YouTube channel if you want to see more videos like this in the future. Also, feel free to leave any comments or questions below, and I will try my best to get back in a timely fashion. Thanks again for watching, and I wish you all the best on your journeys towards becoming ARC pros.